Hey guys, finally he sleeps here. Tonight, this is gonna be a viewer requested video. People have asked on stream how you figure out your OVR pretty quickly. And by figure out your OVR, I mean see where you're at and how far away you are from the next OVR, what you have to do. People keep training and they're like, I just, I just want the next OVR. How much more training do I have to do? That's what we're gonna talk about to see how far away you are from the next upgrade. Uh, just figuring OVR. Um, before we get into that, though, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and share. Turn on notifications here at YouTube. That way you never miss a video when it goes live or when I post that we're streaming live on Twitch, that kind of stuff. Uh, check out all the links. You know, Find us on Twitch and uh, finallyhesleeps.com. Okay, let's just get into it. We're going to jump right into it. Uh, so let's don't mess with this one. There's too much ranks here. Let's go with the rival squad. Okay, so here's what we're going to start with. This is the team. Um, it, the first thing you need to do is look at your lineup effects and ranks, which are right here. Yeah, active lineup effects. So from here, you can see that we have plus six OVR due to perks and plus two OVR due to player ranks. That means the team is really 101 minus eight or 93 OVR. That's our baseline. The, the, I hope that makes sense. So it's a 101 minus six for team OVR. So we're at 95 and then minus two for the rare player ranks. We're at 93. So that's our baseline. Now by baseline, I mean, that's what a player needs to be in order to be considered neutral, not adding to nor taking away from the OVR. So if you've got a 93 player in this squad, they're not adding to nor taking away from the OVR. Now, if you've got a 94, they're actually bringing something to the game. But if you've got, let's say, a 90, they're one of your problem spots. Okay, I'm going to run through this really quick, then come back and explain it. Starting with the left wing, we're going to start here with the left wing, go left to right, top to bottom, and then finish with the keeper. So left wing is a 93, which is 81 plus 12, so uh, he's neutral. So right out of the beginning, we know that um, our left wing is baseline. He's not adding. He's not taking away. He is a 93. He is neutral. He is not a problem spot. Remy is 94, so that's plus one. Daka is a 95, so we're up to plus three. Um, Hooperts is 97, so that's plus seven. Lopez going down to midfield is 91, so we're down to plus five. Out of position, center attacking mid, still 93, so he's neutral. We're at plus five. Ben Pedrosa is 93, another neutral. Burgos is 92, so that's plus three. Gallagher is 92, also same thing. We're at plus, plus three now because we went from plus, plus four down to plus three. Van Hintum is only 89 because he's out of position left back on the right side. So that is four. That's going to bring us all the way down to negative one. Now go back up to the goal. Diego in the goal, 92. Final tally, we're at negative two for this squad. Now what that does is that lets me know that we're eight away from 102, or I need to increase the team by plus eight, either through boost or training to reach 102 OVR. Now I'm going to go back slower through all of this and explain what I, what I just did. Uh, we started with baseline 93, which was 101 minus the plus six from perks and minus the plus two from ranks. We already talked about that. Now I'm looking at each player's total OVR between his current OVR and boost upgrade. Then comparing that to the baseline and keeping a running total above, which is positive, or below 93, which is the neutral, that gives me my negative number. So... Our left wing, like I said, is 81 plus 12, which is 93. So he's a zero, a zero. He's not adding to nor taking away from the OVR. He is a neutral player. Remy is 84 plus 10, though, which is 94. So that's one more than the 93 base. So that's where the plus one comes from. So now we are one above our 93 base. DACA is 85 plus 10. So it's two higher than the base of 93. So we add that to the plus one that we already have. So we're now up to plus three. We are three above the neutral baseline. Starting to make sense. Moving on to the right wing. 
He's 85 plus 12, so that's 97. That's a huge jump. That is a four over. Add that plus four to the plus three we already have. So we are now seven over our 93 base, which is excellent. Once you hit six over your, your base, you move into the next OVR. So somebody here has got to be giving us problems. Moving into midfield, Lopez is at 80 plus 11, which is 91. That's two below our base, 93. So we subtract two from the plus seven that we're holding. So that brings us down to plus five. Uh, Tanane, Tanane, Tan. 85 out of position, center attacking mid is 85 plus eight or 93. So he's a baseline or neutral. So we're still at plus five. He's not hurting us or helping us. Drop down to the defensive line and we have 81 plus 12 on the left back, which is again neutral. So we're still at plus five. Burgos is 81 plus 11, which is 92, so that's one below the baseline. So we have to subtract that one from our plus five. Brings the running total down to plus four. Same thing with Gallagher, 92, so he's one below. That brings it from plus four down to plus three. Uh, moving on to Van Hintum. Now, this is the out-of-position player that's causing me all the problems in the squad. He's only 89, so that is 83 plus six for his out-of-position boost. 89 is four below our baseline. If you subtract that from our positive three, you take away that, you go into negative one. So you're starting to understand where the positive and the negative, so now we're one below. Don't forget the goalie, 82 plus 10, 92, that's another one. So we subtract one more from the negative one, which brings it down to that running total of negative two. That means we are two away from neutral, but because it's an 11-man squad, we need to get plus six before we roll over above the average. So five, you've got 11, so I can't do 11 more hands. Anyway, if you've got 11, if you go up five, five and a half is the midpoint, so six jumps you over to the next one. So that's why I said, so we're at negative two right now. We need to be at plus six. We need eight more to increase this to 102. Let's do one more team just to see how far off we are and then prove it because we're going to swap some players out to show you exactly where those numbers come from. Uh, now that you know what I'm doing, I'll do it at speed, so try to follow along and we'll see. Um, let's see, we've got... don't want to deal with the main team because I don't have any players to increase that. LPF still got a bunch of ranks. All right. Okay, so this is the League One Seasons team. Now, this is going to work because I'm not dealing with a bunch of ranks. We've got Voland in there and Blanc. Those are the only two that are ranked up, so we'll just we'll skip them. So right now we're looking at it. The baseline is 96 because it's still a plus 8 lineup effects, plus 6 for Team OVR, and plus 2 for the ranks. Mbappe is plus 1. Let's see. Dia takes it to 0. Volan goes to plus 1. Di Maria, plus 2. Savigny plus three, Ander Herrera, he's neutral, still plus three, Kempembe, negative four, Blanc, plus five, damn, that's a big jump, uh, Fonte is plus two, Florenzi is minus three, and then between the sticks, brings it up to plus four, because he's a one of three, that plus ten, makes it easy. that means I am two away from 105, because I'm at a plus four, and I need to be at a plus six, so I'm two away from 105, so if I add one, if I train anybody plus one, it's not going to do me any good. But if I take anything up two, either by uh, training some boost, like if I were to increase two of the boost up one, it would immediately bump me over. So let's, let's just prove this. So Florenzi is at, let's see, 91. So if we swap out Florenzi... And we switch his OVR to, we look for somebody with 92, right? If we look for a 92, and we go from 91 to 92, it's not going to change anything. So now we've got a 92 in there, we're still at 104. But if we swap him out and go to a 93, if we just put in, let's we'll put in Roberto at 93 it automatically takes it to 105 that's what i'm talking about we're looking for that change of two where's kempembe 
No, 4NZ, that's who it was. So there it is. That plus two was just enough to take it over. Actually, can I just upgrade a boost? Do we have any boost? Can we take these two? How much do they cost? I'm not spending 800,000. All right, so does that help? Does that explain things? What we're talking about, what we're looking at, how to increase, how to figure it out quickly, uh, relatively fast of to what you need to do to increase your OVR um, to take it up by one. Hope that helps. Uh, thanks for hanging out. Um, let's see. There's the links. Make sure you watch another video. Um, we live stream on Twitch five days a week, 30 minutes before reset. Don't forget the Discord servers. The first one, discord.finallysleeps.com. That's the foot mobile Twitch server of all the YouTube, or not YouTube, Twitch streamers. The second one, uh, discordapp.com, invite FM. That is the big Reddit server uh, where you can talk to about everybody. The full community is there. Make sure you check that out. Come say hi to me in the partners channel. Uh, as long as you guys keep watching, I'll keep making videos.